What is up my friends, Ashley Alex over here. And in this video today, I wanted to share with you guys a three looks, one palette style video, creating these three looks that you see right here using the Jeffree Star Alien palette. Now, I do wanna say, first of all, I am really, really sorry because Jeffree Star just recently announced that he is gonna be discontinuing the Alien palette, which is very, very, very sad because it seems like there is like a cult following and people really love this palette. But I recently unboxed this when I got my Jeffree Star Valentine's Day mystery box and so many of you guys were saying, please, please, please do one of those three looks, one palette video or some kind of tutorial or something using this palette because some of you guys already got it or you just recently got it in the mystery boxes as well. And some of you guys just really wanna see some looks using this because the color story is quite unique and different. So to kind of help soften the blow if you can't get your hands on this one anymore is I'm gonna be throwing up swatches before each look of the shades that I'm gonna be using per every look. So that way, if there is a certain look that you wanna recreate yourself, you could take a screenshot or something of those swatches that I'll put up and go into your collection and see if there's a similar shade that you could use instead since... <laughs> it's discontinued, which is so sad. It, it breaks my heart to make a video on something that people can't get their hands on anymore, but like I said, I had so many requests for this video that I gotta do it and I gotta help you guys out. And you know what? I'm so inspired. I love it. And I just I think it's sad when things are discontinued and then people are just like, okay, but I just got it. Now what? You know, nobody's nobody's doing any looks with it and everything. So I'm here to bring that to you guys today. P.S. If you are new here and you just stumbled upon my face and my channel for the very first time, hey, what is up? Welcome. I would love it if you would consider subscribing at any point in time in this video. That way you get notified when I post more videos, which is a three times a week, all beauty related and all cruelty free as well. But enough chit chat, enough jibber jabbing. We got to get to work. I got three looks to create for you guys, and we are going to just uh, start doing that. And if that all sounds good and dandy to you guys, then you know what to do. Sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Boop. First up, I wanted to create a look that was one of my most requested looks for this video. And that is more like a neutral kind of work safe, quick and on the go type of eye look. And then here are the swatches so you can compare it with your collection at home. All right, as you see, brows are already done and I just primed and prepped my eyes. For this look, I slapped on some ABH eye primer, carving out underneath my brows and then just blending it out all over my eye, really simple. And then I grabbed a base shade. For this look, I just grabbed my Smashbox Hood Witch palette and I just used the base shade in that one, but use whatever you're comfortable with and I just set underneath the brows because I want the pigment to stick everywhere else on the eye primer we lay down. Now you might be thinking why aren't you using that Titan shade as your base but that's because it's just a touch too deep for my skin tone so I won't be using it in these tutorials but if your skin tone is a little bit darker than mine then you'll be able to use that one. So I'm going to be going right in with Phone Home right here. It is a gorgeous rosy tone type of medium transition shade. And I'm gonna be using a pointed fluffy brush. This one is from Alter Ego and I'm gonna dip right into that. Since I have slightly hooded eyes, I'm gonna be taking it just above where my eye kind of folds and I'm gonna gently wing it out a little bit. Now, because this brush is more pointed, it's gonna be laying down the product and concentrating in that area a little bit more. And then I'll go in with a fluffier brush once it's laid down to blend it out even further. Now going in with a fluffier brush, and this is the Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm gonna very gently dip into that same shade, tap it off, and then I'm just buffing out that line. Now I'm gonna go in with that same Phone Home shade, and boy, does that make me wanna watch ET. I haven't watched it in um, forever. Is that on Disney Plus right now? Doesn't Disney like own? No, I mean, it's George Lucas. I don't know, tangent. Anyways, I need to watch that. So I'm gonna go in with that both on the outside edge, the outer corner, <laughs> and also the inner corner, leaving a little tiny space. It doesn't have to be super big, but just little, just cause I want a little bit to pop and then the rest to blend out and diffuse. God, the best part of ET, <laughs> It's debatable, I know, but part that I loved the most as a child was when they were laying down the uh, Reese's Pieces to uh, to lure E.T. in when he was. It was like, oh, those looked so delicious. I wanted those. That would lure me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like the opposite of what you're supposed to teach kids, right? Follow the candy trail. Oh, that makes me want them right now. Great. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in, same brush, little angled, kind of fluffy brush, not super fluffy, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with Space Cowboy, which is this deep brown, but it is a little bit of a metallic. However, it's not too metallic. It's just 
Nice. And I'm gonna take it just on the outer corners and the inner corner, doing a little tiny blend because I don't want it to make it too much darker. I wanna keep it still light and fresh just with a little bit of dimension, you know? I don't need to go in too far because I'm gonna be doing like a little inner corner highlight right there. Now I know this is weird because it's a metallic, but I'm gonna take that same shade and that little pointed brush and it kind of does this weird matte thing. So I'm just going to add a little bit into my crease, just again, to add a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna go back in with Phone Home and layer on top so it blends. Now I'm gonna go in with Interstellar right here and I'm gonna take it onto my finger. I'm gonna try to. I got the claws, so it's a little more difficult. And I'm just gonna pop it right in the center and tap it out. Ooh, that is gorgeous. What a pretty shade that is, uh, Chloe. And I want to tap it over to the sides. So it's kind of like a shimmery mobile lid, but then you have, you know, the dimension added to the outer corners, just like that. But you can honestly do whatever you prefer. If this is too much for you, you know, then don't do it. But I like how that just made it like a little bit more of a, I guess wearable look. Like I say over here on my channel, you guys say it with me. Whatever makeup you wear is wearable, right? Am I right? But you know what I mean. A little more like work friendly. And then that like people will just be like, ooh, that's pretty, but it's not like super distracting, you know? And then I like to take my brush, the first one that we were using with the little point to it and just gently soften that. So it's not like crazy technical terms over here. That's what you get on my channel. That's just pretty and nice. Now I like to make it pump a little bit more. That's just how I am. So I'm gonna take Pluto on my finger, this shade right here, and just do it in the center, not blending it out all over like we do. And I'll take a clean finger and just tap. It's just a subtle, little extra 3D dimensional, I was gonna say, but that would be redundant. So not 3D dimensional, just three dimensional. <laughs> And while we are at it, take this little tiny detailing brush and just add a little bit of highlight with that same Pluto shade we were just using. Last thing for the shadow is I'm gonna go back in with my little fluffy angled brush and go into Phone Home, the shade that we've been using the most, and plop it right down on the lower lash line. Of course, you can wait until your whole face makeup is done to do this part, but if you are new to my channel, I'll let you know. I like to do it first because then I don't take up my concealer higher than I need to, you know? I'm going to clean up a little bit of the fallout that I had. Excuse me, Alien Palette. It's mostly that Space Cowboy shade, but I'm gonna clean that up, do the rest of my makeup. I will show you guys what this looks like with just mascara, and then I'll throw on some lashes to like really bring the whole look together because I know you guys like to see both, especially for these natural looks. Be right back. All right, here's the look, just the mascara, no lashes, and just a couple little things that I used. I used a brown liquid liner right on the lash line, and then I used a nude liner on the waterline. I just used this Makeup Geek one that I have, and I don't even know where I put it now. And then for Lippy, in case you're interested, I annoyingly used three. Sorry when I do that, but you just I just like to layer it sometimes. I used a Too Faced Natural Nude and overexposed and I think it complements the shade in the eyeshadow that we used really nicely. And then I popped some Buxom Lip Polish in Serena on top and then right in the middle I put the Too Faced Peppermint Bark on it just because I wanted a little extra shine. So the main the main babe though in that lippy is this one. That's what's doing all the work and then it's just basically a gloss on top. Okay, I'm gonna throw on lashes really quickly and then we'll wrap up this eye look. All right, this is the look all done with the lashes popped on and for lashes I used the Ultra Ego Lashes in the style Royal and they are so pretty. Alter Ego came out with these a month or so ago and they're like five bucks. And this style lash is not too long, but it still has a little bit of fluffiness and I just feel like they look really natural. And overall, I'm just really enjoying this like more natural toned down look. It still has some interest to it, but I feel like I was able to achieve it really quickly. And I love how this palette can do this natural look like this, but we can also get more dramatic and uh, kind of play around. So I think it is time to do that. Let's start diving into some colors and let's check out look number two. 
Next up, we have this very different and unique look and it might be really shocking to you, but do not worry. I give you some different options. So you don't have to take it all the way to this extreme. And then here are the swatches I'm gonna be using so you can compare it to your collection and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, already primed and prepped my eyes. This time I use the Jeffree Star Concealer in C0, which is his white concealer. And then I just set underneath my brow area with the Belle Jordan Makeup Obsession Palette. I just use the shade right here, but use whatever you want to use to set. So I'm going to first start with Flying Saucer. It has this cute little impression of a UFO beaming up a person, which is hilarious. And I'm kind of taking inspiration for that with this look today. So I'm first going to go in with this kind of a pointed little blending brush, shake it, tap it on, and I'm going to just focus it in the crease. And right here. Okay, and I'm going to take this fluffier blending brush and then gently tap into that, dust it off, and just blend the edge. Now I'm going to go back in with that first brush and dip into Martian Soil, which is this awesome mustard yellow. Oh my goodness, so cool. Not like mustard, like French is mustard, mustard like Grey Poupon. Pardon me, do you have any Grey Poupon? Why well, yes, I'm gonna put it on my eyes and I'm going to pop it on to the opposite side, leaving a space in the middle for our little halo slash uh, beam. <laughs> then again, fluffy brush into that, gently buffing it. Now I'm gonna use this little flat packing brush right here to do the same shades, but onto the mobile lid. So starting with Flying Saucer, connecting it to what we blended out. And while we're at it, before I move on to the next shade, I'm gonna take that same one and connect it to the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna do Martian Soil. Same thing, different part of the eye. Ooh, that is even better packed on. What a cool shade that is. Now I'm going to take, I want to take my finger, but I got these talons. I'm going to take it anyways. Let's do it. Let me try going in with Moon Rock right here. Oh, it feels so soft and nice. These formulas have been very nice. I don't know why, unless I got duds in some of my other palettes, my Blue Blood and Conspiracy have shades that look like these ones, you know, but they do not perform like this. These ones have been amazing. The other ones are just weird. These ones are good. Moral of the story. So anyways, I'm gonna press it right into the middle. No need to cut the crease or anything like that. We already got some concealer laid down and it doesn't need the extra help. Just gonna gently press it to blend it into the other shades that we laid down. And I'm gonna have to go in with the brush just cause these, these talons, if you don't have these though, you won't have this problem. Oh, you know what? This looks like somebody's flag. Whose flag is this? What country is this? Is it Ireland? Well, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so you could always rock this, but we are gonna add that little beam in there and maybe it'll make it look a little less like a country. Okay, and then take my brush and do the lower lash line also. Let's see if I can do that with my pinky. You definitely get better payoff of the more metallic feel to this shade also if you use your finger. So again, if you don't have these, you'll be better for you. I'm just gonna go in and fine tune a little bit before we lay down our beam from outer space, okay. Be right back. I'm going to be taking that concealer once again. If you don't have this one, it's all right. Use just your regular concealer if you would like. I'll take some on the back of my hand. You have a white one that will help make it pop a little bit more, but sometimes you gotta use what you got, right? I'm gonna take this little angled eyeliner brush, dip it into that and kind of flatten it. Oh, my hands are so dry, I need lotion. But like press and flatten it, you know? Now I'm gonna create the little beam and I'm gonna try to do a steady line. the excess and I want it to just not do a blend but it can be a little wide like go from skinny to wide bringing it down and I want to extend it a tiny bit past the color not much just a little bit and you're gonna have to uh 
eyeball it around your eye where you're gonna do this part. Okay, so like a beam. Okay, and before I go on to the other eye, I'm going to set this with Pluto, of course. This one right there, just same brush, and then go right over that. Oh yeah, that is freaking cool. I hope this is coming across more beamy and less like clowny, you know what I mean? Oh, I just got an idea. I just got an idea. I'm gonna take this shade, Alien, right there, and I'm gonna very, very gently go along the edges, almost like it's glowing. You know how it like has that glow in the fog? You know when you see a beam shooting from a UFO and you see the glow in the fog? No, but you know what I mean, in movies and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. I hope you can kind of see what I'm going for. I think that that looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, I actually took it on both sides. Now I am using my setting spray to go back down through the middle with Pluto, the white one, just to really give that 3D look that it is glowing down. Like I said, I'm trying really hard to make it not look clown or gesture-like. I mean, it is what it is if that's what happened. I know this is odd, but sometimes when you feel it, you feel it, you know, and you just gotta go with your feeling. Maybe I'll add some glitter later. Who knows? That, like I said, is very different and interesting. If you don't want to do the beam, then don't worry about it. Don't do it. But I'm just having some fun over here, you guys. Oh, this palette just freaking inspires me and I love it. It's so much fun. All right, I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then we will see if we take this to another planet or something. <laughs> Alien pun intended. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I am going and fine tuning stuff now that my face makeup's done. I still have to pick a lippy, but I wanted to jump on here and show you guys what I was doing. So I'm just taking the deep green shade called Flying Saucer and I'm just bringing it over a little bit to blend into that because I liked the idea of that foggy glow that I was talking about. So I'm basically just gonna make sure that it has more of like a foggy glow around it. So just taking this little detailing brush, this is the Sigma E36 brush, just to bring it over a little bit. A Grey Poupon shade is just fine, but I do need to bring over Moon Rock a little bit. So let me grab another detailing brush. Let's try using this one. It's like a little pencil brush. Blend it onto the edges right there and bring it out a little bit. All right, now let me go do a lippy, lashes, and now I'll be back. All right, so we are back. Hair is down, clips are in. I got a lippy on. For the lippy, I used a mixture of the Jeffree Star Mannequin and the First Class Lip Shade to make it kind of more like yellowy, goldy. And then I popped some gloss on top, just the diamond juice from Jeffree Star. Came in it kind of Jeffree Star theme today. So, um, what's next? Oh, lashes. I, I'm really sorry. I don't know what lashes I'm wearing. I just picked some that were in a case that were like super spaced out keep it spacey. Oh my goodness, all the space puns today. But I can still see the beam that way, you know? And I'm liking that, but I know it's different and crazy and I wanna make it even more different and crazy. So I'm gonna take this Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel from ColourPop. I only have two ones. I have a gold and a silver. I wish I had ones that had like a little bit more yellow in it, but I don't. But I'm just gonna put it down here. Like, yeah, that's really crazy. And you know your girl loves it. That is fun. That is fun. Cool, cool, cool. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> so that is different. That is unique. That is the look, you guys. I know this is not like an everyday type of look. I mean, unless you want to wear it every day, in which case then it's an everyday makeup look because I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to show you some different options and have some fun. And of course you can make some tweaks if this is a little too much for you. You can definitely tweak it down, tone it down, or you can just wear it and just do your thing. But that's enough of this one. It is time for the last and final look, look number three. 
And for our last look today, we are doing the one that you saw in the intro right here. It is a very grainy with just a touch of purple. And I'm even gonna show you how I created this green lippy as well. And these are the swatches in case you need to compare them with your collection at home. Oh my goodness. Wow, these swatch beautifully. Let's dive into it. All right, so this time let's start off with priming our eyes with the ABH eye primer. I'm gonna sweep it all underneath my brow to carve out and all over the lid, but I don't really have to focus it too much on the mobile lid, just a little light dusting. So I'm gonna be going in with some dark cream shadow in a little bit. I'm gonna go in with abduction right here on this really, really tiny detailing brush. And I'm gonna be placing it right above where my natural crease is. Just kind of like patting it all in that area and creating like a rounded shape. Just bring it over a little bit, but not too far. Um, This shade is freaking rad, dude. That is so cool. That is like a highlighter. I love it. Now I'm gonna take this little blending brush and dip a little bit into that same shade and just soften and blend that edge. Now I'm gonna go back to the first brush that I was using, which by the way is the Luxie 141 Mini Round, and I'm gonna dip into Alien right here. And I'm gonna place it right over where pretty much the same area we first laid down abduction, but I'm not gonna be blending it out as high. Just kinda lightly graze, just so the colors blend nicely together, but I'm not going all over because then I'll take it too high. Yeah, that's perfect. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now going back to the first brush again, not dipping it, I'm just going to gently soften those two. Now, I want to go in with the shade Black Hole right there. But sometimes, and I haven't used this one by itself yet, so I don't know, but sometimes black shadows, especially on the mobile lid, can come across a little bit patchy. You know, so I'm gonna go in first with a cream shadow. This one is from the CoverGirl True Naked Queen Ship line. It's the 950, which they actually go by names, but for some reason they don't put names on their cream sticks. Whatever it is, I'll link it down below. Um, it's just a really dark, smoky kind of cream shadow. You can use a black cream shadow though, but this is the darkest shade that I had in my collection, which reminds me that I need to go get a black cream shadow. But this will suffice. It has a little tiny bit of shimmer in it, but that's okay. So we're gonna be putting shimmer on top of the black hole in a second anyways. So I'm just going to lay it down. It's kind of acting like as a dark primer, you know? Now you could pat it out with your finger if you don't have long talons like I do, but I'm gonna take this little concealer brush and just smooth it out. And I'm gonna take a little bit onto that and then I'm gonna try to blend it a little tiny bit into that green, but not too high. And we don't have to do too much because we're gonna be putting the black hole shade down. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Now going in with that same brush, I'm gonna go in with black hole. And does anybody else get the Soundgarden song stuck in their head anytime somebody says black hole? Black hole sun, black hole sun. Cause I do, obviously. So I'll just be uh, listening to that in my head while you guys watch me paint my eyelid. I'm just plopping that right on top and wow, that is nice and pigmented. I did put this on my hand like as a swatch and it was like really, really pigmented. So I don't think necessarily this will have a problem, but putting down the cream shadow will just secure it and make sure that there's no patchiness and it doesn't fade throughout the day, you know? Okay, that is a uh, wow. That's a look right now, that is a look. Now I'm gonna go back to the very first brush we were using, the Luxie 141, dip very gently into black hole, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna buff that line in between. Now, since my eyelids are slightly hooded, you'll notice that I kind of lean my head back and raise my eyebrows up a little bit, especially for this crease part right here, or else I'll be trying to blend and it'll all just mush together. Taking that flat concealer brush again, I kind of wiped off the black hole shade a little bit, and I'm gonna go in now with Probe. It's this really cool, shifty shade. Ooh and I'm gonna lay that right on top of the black that we laid down. All right, that is 
super, super cool. I really like that. So of course I want to make sure that is very nicely blended. So I'm gonna go back to the fluffy brush and dip into the green shimmery alien shade and just buff in between, kind of just fine tuning a little bit. That is so rad though. Now on the lower lash line, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Well, you can do whatever you want, any of these looks, but you can go with like the gold on the lower lash line. You can go with the green. I'm gonna do the purple though, because I just think that will be a really cool moment. Right now it's very reptilian, which is super rad, but I want to, uh, I just wanna juice it up even more. So I'm gonna go in with this little flat packing brush like this right here and go in with area 51 right there. Now taking the little Luxie blending brush, the 121, go into area 51, top off the excess and just do a little blend. Don't worry about it too much because if you haven't done your face makeup yet, you'll have to go in and blend anyways, which is what I'll have to do. If your face makeup is already done though, then you might want to take a moment to blend gently. I am glad I will say that I didn't do my face yet, makeup yet because look at all the fallout that I got with the black hole shade, which oftentimes black shades will do that on you. So I would recommend doing the eye look first and then your makeup. Oh, cool. Oh, it's kind of beetle juicy now, which I really can dig. It's showtime. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the fallout, do my whole face. I'm gonna throw on lashes, but I'm gonna do the lower waterline with you guys and some inner corners, so I'll be back in a second. All right, I am back and I am almost done with this whole look, but we do have a couple little things that I wanna do still. But before we do, a couple specifications about what I threw on while I was gone. In case you're wondering, I used the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Palette and I used the shade Alien Ice as my highlighter and then I went in with Candy Apple Drift, which is his Supreme Frost, and I just patted that over on top of the Alien Ice that I laid down just to add that green shifty vibe and just utilize the products that I have. And then for my lippy today, I also used Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I got the shade Mistletoe in my mystery box, so I threw that on and boy almighty, I am glad I have it because it is so pretty and the formula feels so nice. And then right in the center of my lips, I popped on No Offense. This is from his Jawbreaker collection. Oh. What a beautiful pairing. Wow. I have to say this mistletoe formula for some reason is perfect. It is like literally what I want all of his formulas to be. I don't know about you, but I kind of notice each of his Velour liquid lipsticks kind of have a different consistency. Maybe it's the pigment sets used. I'm not sure, but like these two are totally different, but whatever. I love how this turned out. I am really liking this so far. But like I said, there's a couple little details that we just need to fine tune really quickly. So for lower lash liner, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Glide On Liner in Paradise Purple, just to extend the purple that we laid down. I like to do that on the lower lash line because it kind of helps the lower lash line color to pop most of the time, you know? Perfect. And then I'm gonna take that same purple shadow that we did and just blend a little tiny bit because just naturally I lose some of that blend when I lay down my concealer. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just kind of fine tune a little bit, you know? Right now for inner corner highlight, let me grab my brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Pluto right here and just lay it down. Super simple. I also wanna take that Pluto shade on this little fluffy-ish brush. It's kind of like a rounded brush and just take it on my brow bone to help that pop. Just kind of tie the look all together. Ooh, that is cool. And I know it kind of extends into the highlight I laid down, which is really neat right over here. Okay, ooh, cool, cool, cool. See that, you see that? Ooh! Oh yeah, and for lashes, in case you wanna know, I did use the ColourPop Falsies in the style Baddie today. I got these a while ago and I hadn't gotten around to putting them on a look yet and they are really cool. They are fluffy and uh, kind of feel like a baddie. So there you go. All right, so that is it for this final and third look. Oh my goodness, you guys. I had so much fun creating all of these looks. I do not know how I didn't get this palette originally. Why didn't it strike my fancy? Because, oh my goodness, it's totally up my alley. It's, this was so much fun. This palette has me so inspired. You can get neutral looks, but you can also get like this more grungy style look that I have right here or that more like bright fun look. Like so many 
options, so many choices. Thank you all so much for requesting that I do this video because like I said, I just had so much fun. Ooh, this just makes me even more excited for the Bloodlust palette because I wanna create some more looks for you guys and I'm gonna be doing a three looks, one palette using that palette. You bet your sweet bippy I will, do not worry. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today and checking out my little video. If you are new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you go that we get notified when I post more videos, which like I said at the beginning of the video is a three times a week, but you guys, that is a wrap. That is it. Thank you so much again for stopping by. And I hope that every single one of you out there, every single one of you go out there and have a great freaking awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But Jeffrey should be the one that's sorry, not me. But like I said, <sighs> I need to clean my brushes, they're all stained. I need to sneeze. Sneeze buffering. Did it go away? Oh, I kind of hate when that happens. Like, just sneeze. Won't you come? This palette just freaking expi expires me. <laughs> Number two, that is be cutting. So, but I recently opened it, but I just got mine and my, but I just, but, but I just got. I'm just sitting here with my friend. Hey, I need to name him. What should I name him? Georgie. No, that's like it. Ding, ding.